What is up my original bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay So today guys I want to talk to you all about is the next COD game So this game is supposedly a Black Ops spin-off set in the Cold War And also it kind of dives into the Vietnam War as well Now this is going to be created by Treyarch who will be the lead developer taking the mantle from both Sledgehammer Games and Raven Software for they couldn't agree and it was just in a complete mess and everything like that and there's also going to be another developer called Beanox who will be there to kind of help out as well just with kind of small things I'd say so the reveal for COD 2020 is actually going to be coming out this month and Charlie Intel and a few other articles uh, have put up on Twitter and some other news outlets have also said uh, this time this month is the time for COD teasers or COD reveals what's the next one gonna be so with E3 being cancelled there's actually a new convention named Summer Games Fest where COD 2020 could be revealed and there's actually lots of articles that have come out stating that maybe Warzone are going to have kind of live events just like Fortnite. So with Warzone having over like I think it's like 50 million or 60 million players on it. Which means we could see some changes to come into Warzone that could actually tease the next COD. COD 2020. Now the, there's these kind of access keys that people are finding in Warzone that could mean you could open a bunker or you use it on a phone. And this could easily open up the bunker and we could see some teases for the next COD game in them. Now, I think they did this with Black Ops 3, I think it was, in Nuketown where some sign changed that you could uh, you could wall run on to have kind of this guy for, I think it was like Infinite Warfare or something like that. Now, the voice actor who plays Sergeant Frank Woods has been going live on his YouTube channel and has been talking about reprising his role as Frank Woods and he actually has said as of now he has not been in contact with Activision team about coming back. So he wanted to actually go live recently and talk through the original script of Black Ops 1. However the Activision PR team were actually onto him and they basically told him look he couldn't basically, you can't do it. So this could mean that the next COD 2020 will have some things from the Black Ops 1 original script that kind of will fill in gaps and kind of set the whole story up for Treyarch to do in their upcoming game. Uh, I think it'll be in COD 2021 because they weren't actually meant to come in and help Raven and Software, uh, Raven Software and Sledgehammer Games to fix their mess and everything like that, that this game was meant to be a Vietnam War game and then the Black Ops one was kind of going to take it off, then it was going to send it up into the air basically, well, not like flying up in the air and all that shit like Advanced Warfare and Infinite Warfare, what I mean is basically Sledgehammer and Raven create the foundation and then Treyarch build upon that which seems like a good idea in retrospect but now that's not really going to happen now we could easily see uh frank woods come back however now we could actually see someone new come in and voice frank woods just like they did uh in modern warfare replacing captain price's original and i think it was gaz's voice actors so this could be why we he hasn't heard or been in contact with Activision to come back and reprise his role now of course the game I feel won't be called Call of Duty Vietnam just like everyone's been saying because it's set both in the Cold War and Vietnam War and it's not it's not going to be called Black Ops 5 either this game is going to be a soft reboot of the Black Ops series which I think it this is kind of a good road to go down to bring people back to the game and bring new people in. So there's probably going to be a reveal trailer or a teaser for it this month and it'll be good to see what comes from it. Now of course, uh, once this happens, if it is kind of set in the Cold War era and everything like that and it's kind of called Black Ops or something like that, um, I'll have a video coming out on like... The next card about the perks that could we could see the characters that could see uh, guns in it and many many more things like nades and everything like that 
and yeah that's that's really it guys this is the end of the video if you did like it please hit the like button right beside the like button there should be a subscribe button you can hit that it's a big red button and right beside that there should be a notification bell you can click that to stay up to date whenever i upload to the channel or whenever i go live here which is rare speaking of live streams i tend to live stream weekly uh, not really on a set schedule but late at night uh i do uncharted which i'm trying to platinum all the all the games of uncharted i'm trying to platinum i'm gonna be playing modern warfare either warzone or just modern warfare itself rainbow six and a few more that either come out free or i can just buy and yeah i also have a twitter link down in the description below where i manually update whenever i go live on twitch or whenever i upload a video where you can hit the follow button if you are on my Twitter and of course if you were on my Twitch as well you can do the same you can hit the blue follow button and once you have done that you can hit the uh, notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live on the channel but yeah that's it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace